What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. Now that we've learned, I say we, I mean I have learned, that paying Fleetari to repair the rust on the Satsuma is the most pointless thing ever. I think what we're going to focus on today is just trying to make some more money. I don't know how much money I actually wasted on having him repair our rust, but I had him repair the hood, the boots, or the trunk, and then both of the fenders. So however much money that is, that's how much money we've wasted now. So the first thing we're going to do is if it will work, Joe bro? Joe, lift. Okay, maybe it's because the kickstand is, is definitely down. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Got it. Nailed it. Beautiful. But we're going to take the Joe bro over to the woodshed so I can show you guys what we've got going on over there. I should also mention that I did fill the Joe bro after running out of fuel in the previous episode. Not my best work, I will admit. But it's just one of those things like... I can't take the Joe bro to a pump to actually fill it up. I have to remember, oh, uncle is out and about. I don't really feel like stopping and talking to him right now. I am just straight up money hungry. But it is a little difficult for me to remember to actually fill up the Joe bro. That and like the boat. I think those are the only two things that actually take two stroke fuel. So as you guys can see, I've already gone through the trouble of filling up the trailer here. I, I tried the little trick that some of you had had suggested uh, last time around. Last time around, I was chopping wood. A lot of you were like, why would you pick it up, you know, one by one by hand? Why wouldn't you just use the little wood carrier thing? Well, I tried the wood carrier, and I've realized it's not for me. I'm sure that if you get really good at it, you can probably get this sucker lined up, and it'll just, like, auto-fill all the time. Come on, drop the... Drop the axe, please. Thank you. But in the amount of time it would have taken me to figure out how to properly use the wood carrier, I probably would have already filled the trailer. And so that's what I did. I just did it the same way we did last time, manually picking each log up by hand and tossing it in. And now we have a full trailer. We don't have that much time left in the day, though, so I'm really hoping we'll be able to get out to uh, the Firewood Dude Bro's place, deliver this, and make a little bit of money. So... Let's find out. Hopefully he's still around. And just like that, we have arrived. I think I saw an arm over there. Yep. We're going to leave the tractor on because now we know we actually need it to sort of idle for this. And then this was the, was the deal, right? Let's try that again. There she goes. All right. Up and out. I do think we actually have to open the tailgate for it to all fall out look at that beautiful you have trouble and i have payments you can buy beer and sausages with all the money okay, i'm not actually able to put the tailgate back up but that's cool let's go ahead and lower the trailer we'll take the money from the man and then we will be on our way dude very quick very painless minus the time it actually took me to chop the wood everything else super streamlined i love that I do regret not grabbing a drink and eating before we left our house, but that's okay. We're headed right back home anyways. 3,200 marks. Thank you, sir. You are an absolute legend. I think it takes about eight hours for you to hit us up with another order, so hopefully you do that here before too long. But let's hop back in the Kekmet, and we'll head on back home. Yeah, I might have just run into a tree just then. I don't I don't want to talk about it, you guys. It's a tight space back here, okay? There's a big ditch around the whole backside of the property. It's it's not a good place to be, but we're on our way, finally. All right, that was a very, very enjoyable trip, but we're about to uh, die of thirst. So let's go ahead and cut the ignition there. Get our kickstand back up. Actually, hang on. Dude, I forgot to burn everything last time. Okay, let's, let's get that going. Do I have anything else to burn? I got the spoiled milk in there, right? Yeah, okay. So everything, everything should be in there. I can't believe I forgot to burn that, dude. Hopefully it's far enough away from our house that it's not gonna start anything on fire. So let's go ahead and quench our thirst here really quick. I should probably have a thing of sausages too. 
Uh, headphone users might also find the fire just as loud as I do. It, it sounds like a thunderstorm, dude. There's just like a rumble outside. It's honestly kind of impressive. Anywho, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save really quick because some of my fam bam just got to the house. So I'm going to go say what's goody and then I'll come back and we'll keep doing this. Many, many minutes later. I love that I'm able to work from home. I do. It's great most of the time. However, we did just host Thanksgiving here. So if you were wondering why the uploads sort of stopped over Thanksgiving and are now resuming, that's that's kind of why. I cannot see anything, but I did try to prepare for that. Unfortunately, if you guys would have seen the Roblox video that I made, it was a little too late, I think. So we're gonna head to bed, start fresh the next day. Should still be Thursday, correct? Which means Quavo has restocked, but we're not we're not gonna worry about that. We're not gonna worry about that today. We're only worried about making money, not spending it. What about the Keel you? Is that surely that's gotta be no, it's not quite ready. I figured, especially with like the time it took me to chop wood and everything, that that would be ready to rock. I guess let's just take a look at our board here for different uh, different jobs and things. Deliver fish to grandma. We could do that, actually, but she only gives us about a thousand bones so long as we deliver her five grilled fish. Hay bales to the farm? Maybe. Sewage. Oh, vandalism as well. There, There's lots of sewage opportunities. So you know what? I think, I think we'll just go ahead and do that. We should probably address our stats first. All right, I would say we are ready to rock here. We're gonna grab us a bag of chips. Just drop that on the other side of the door here. I think we're gonna go ahead and just take the van because I really don't feel like, you know, potentially damaging the Satsuma. Plus we've already got the envelope in the van. So if we're gonna be up by uh, Quavos, we might as well, might as well finally drop that thing in his little uh, drop spot. We've got four bottles of Kielu, which is actually just water, and then two bags of chips now. I think we're officially ready to head on out of here. Kind of decided to take the long way around just to get here. Wait, is... did I just hear Uncle's cough? I'm also gonna try to fill up with some diesel while we're out here, but I was trying to take the long way and I forgot the seat belt just so I could sort of scout for any additional uh, tow jobs. You know how much we love those tow jobs around these parts, but I unfortunately didn't see any. So it's fine, it's fine. I'll just have to like figure out, the wiki probably has all the like different possible locations for those tow jobs listed, I'm sure. So. I'll just have to like pull that up and maybe we can dedicate an entire video to just going around and uh, and trying to locate all of those because there is some good money to be made there. Now we just have to grab our envelope out of here. What did we even want to order? I actually don't remember. And the cough is definitely uncle, unless it's Quavo. The Quavo doesn't cough like that. Maybe uncle's around back or something. Let's try to just slip that in there. No? Okay, we'll try that again. Let's just move it around a little bit. Got her. All right. I, I think it was just the flywheel, wasn't it? Like the upgraded racing lightweight flywheel, something like that. Oh, he's back here. Good. Good. Okay, great. Well, you seem like you're doing just fine. Back in the van, we should probably have a drink now, right? We're about, we're about due for a drink, I would say. There we go. Stats looking much, much better now. We've got our first empty out of the four of them. Close the van door on up and let's head on over to not the inspection place, but the waste treatment facility. If I remember right too, this job absolutely sucks. Literally, it, it's very difficult to get the like hose portion of the, of the truck in the actual like septic systems. So that's probably, if I had to guess, that's probably why Uncle doesn't really love this job. And he's also not too heartbroken about the fact that he can't perform work right now, which is where we come in, unfortunately. I think our best bet here, obviously there are um, these jobs, you know, all around the map, but I think our best bet 
is just to sort of do some trial runs around town, maybe, you know, not super far away from this place. Now that we're in the driver's seat, it does sort of feel like we just got in the cockpit of some sort of fighter jet. I honestly don't remember what any of this stuff does or what any of it means. We've got the hydraulic pump, wipers, uh, rear lift axle, interior lights. Okay, ignition is here. We need to leave that on and buzzing for a minute. Probably pull out the hand throttle as well. Kind of like the tractor a little bit. And then one of these lights eventually, because I think this is a diesel as well, sort of like the van. One of these, that one, should go out. And now we can just turn it over and everything will work perfectly. It's beautiful. Okay, now we can hand throttle down, right? Because the hand throttle is just so that, it's just so that like when we're using the hydraulic pump, that thing can really do some sucky sucky. Know what I'm saying? All right. We're in one low, forgot the parking brake. Now I gotta try to remember where the parking brake is. Also, there's that buzzing still. When does the buzzing go away? Is that the rear lift axle? We've got that down now. Hydraulic pump is, dude, the buzzing. I forgot about the buzzing. I don't remember what we need to do here. There's, there's something else. There's something else that I'm missing. Parking brake. Okay, something other than that. What is this light? That symbol matches this symbol. So let's hand throttle up again. Maybe we need to get this a little bit higher. I apologize, you guys. I genuinely don't remember how this thing works. This seems right, though. Definitely seems right. And then eventually that light should go out once we've sort of filled the, the pressure in that tank. Okay, we're good. Look at that! And then that's just showing that we're in low gear. We are ready. All that work just so we can set off, dude. Unbelievable. I don't know if we should stay in low. Does it have a four? It has a fourth low, a fifth low. What about a sixth? This feels very familiar. I, I actually think I've said all of that before. Okay, just six low. So I know this house over here needs pumped. Let's head on over this way then, and we'll try this as our first sort of trial run. Just pull on over here. Now we've got to go through a couple of gears, so we get in reverse. And we'll try to use the mirror, maybe. Can't really see that well. Looking that way is not really going to do me any favors. Okay, I guess mirrors it is. It's just very difficult, and I don't want to run that guy over. He's just like chilling in his lawn chair minding his own business. Okay, hopefully this is close enough. Let's put it back into neutral low. We're gonna leave it on because we're not really concerned about uh, fuel consumption. Wait, what's happening? Why, why am I moving? Why are we sliding? Please no. Please no. Parking brake? Still kind of sliding? Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're rocking about a quarter tank right now, but we should be fine. Right? Famous last words. Should be fine. Can't think of a single thing that could go wrong. What's going on, my man? Uh, we are here to pump your feces, actually, oddly enough. We just have to take the well cover off. There is definitely some fecal matter in the tank. And then we just have to do that. Is this the sucky sucky part? It looks weird. Why does it look like it's wrapped around itself? Oh, because it is. We're not holding the end. <laughs> so this just has to go down in there, which is kind of challenging. There we go. Let's just feed the entire thing in there, right? That's probably for the best. Okay, we'll stop. We'll stop right there. I don't think we want it all the way at the bottom. Would kinks in the hose matter? Would that change anything? Probably not. Let's get her going, dude. Let's try her out. I'm, I'm pretty eager to, to try this. So hand throttle. That's a necessity. Maybe not that high, I guess, but we'll try it. And then this, hydraulic pump. Oh, we're just, are we vomiting? We're good? It just smells that bad, okay. But we're emptying it. It's working. So the hose, now I'm remembering the hose, getting it back onto the truck, that was the most challenging part. But this, so far, so good. We've just gotta wait for it to drain it completely. We may actually have to add in a little bit more hose here. We'll see.
It's a bit like drinking a milkshake, isn't it? I don't know if that's... Oh, that's not it. Okay, there is there is actually more in there. So we do, unfortunately... <laughs> our, dude, our character is not loving this right now. Uh, but we just have to huck the rest of the hose in there. Still going, dude. These things are deep. Thank you. I am... What? Here is your money. Oh, you pay us? 1,200 marks, you guys. 1,200 marks for cleaning out this dude's septic. That is honestly some pretty good money. But again, if I remember right, uh, the worst part of this is sort of yet to come. So we're going to go ahead and throttle down. Oh, our temps were getting up there. We about overheated from having that hand throttle up so high. So let's go ahead and disengage the hydraulic pump now. I think we're good. We're going to leave the truck idling. Again, we're not super concerned with uh, fuel and things. But let's try to yank this hose on out of here. We'll cover up dude's septic hole thing again. And then uh, we'll try to throw the hose back up on the truck. Might actually be easiest if we leave the hose connected to the truck for right now and just walk very, very slowly. Wait, does that say put hose back? How long? How long has that been a feature, dude? So this job just got a heck of a lot easier. I can tell you that for sure. We've just got to disengage the parking brake. We're gonna kind of shift a little bit. I don't know why, but the truck's just sort of sliding here. We're gonna keep it in low gear, and then there should be other houses in town um, that also need empty, but I just don't remember where they are. So I'm gonna head left here. We're gonna sort of go around the back side of the church and just do a loop. Um, what just happened? What, what just happened to our truck? We were cruising along, dude. Everything was fine. We didn't run out of fuel. Wait, does that say battery? Is that a battery icon? It is a battery. What am I supposed to do now? So is it like dead, dead? It just came back to life. Well, I have absolutely no idea why that happened, but we're rolling once again. Maybe just need to keep an eye on our battery gauge up there, our little voltmeter. No idea. All right, any of these houses need their septic tanks emptied? No, there's no one at that property. There's no one to our right. I can't remember if there are any houses back here, but I guess we'll try it out. And then, if we fill this thing enough, we might also be able to just, you know, while we're out here, dump a little bit in front of the inspection place. All right, just so I don't have to keep driving around aimlessly, I'm gonna go ahead and just reference the wiki to try to figure out where each location or each house actually is. So there is actually another property in town here, and I just so happened to drive right past it uh, when we had our critical engine failure. So we're gonna head over that way now. It looks like it's on like the opposite corner of the, not racetrack. Uh, what do you what do you call a racetrack for people on their on their feet? Just a track? That actually might have been a little too far. I'm gonna try to make it work still. There's no reason we can't you know get underneath this thing. It's just gonna be a little bit more difficult, I think, to actually see um, the the amount of turds inside the thing. We've got our hose connected. Let's grab it and try to huck it down the hole once again. This part's pretty easy as well. All the way in there. Perfect. Okay, as long as that thing doesn't come off, we should be in good shape. Let's head back up into the cab here. We've got a we've got a throttle up, but I don't think I'm going to throttle up as high as we did last time since we about overheated the the diesel engine here. So let's throttle up till about 15 or maybe just a little above that. So it's not in the red zone up here. Kind of in the middle of these two red zones. It's probably the sweet spot. All right, that seems good. That's not the right thing. We need the hydraulic pump. The rear axles need to stay down. That makes it much more stable while we're doing this. Look at that. She's starting to drain. Kind of a stressful day. Got to relieve a little bit of stress here with our, I think our last smoke, to be honest. There it is. All right, we do have another pack at home, so we just need to pick that up at some point. 
Is this about done? Not quite yet. I think, I think after just emptying the two in town locations here, we should probably just bring the truck back and, uh, and be on our way. Just take the money. Let's continue with our lives. I completely agree. And I'm just now realizing that there's lights and stuff up here or switches and things. I had no idea about that. The more you know. All right, 1,200 marks. Thank you, sir. Is that you puking or is that me? Okay, okay. Pulling the hose out of this one is going to be a little bit more involved. Uh, we didn't really leave enough slack up here on the surface. So what I'm going to do instead is just drive forward a little bit. How'd we do? Oh, the hose disconnected completely and is now in the bottom of the well. I think this happened to me once before, but it's a good thing that we're done using the truck today, I guess. We really did make some good money from that, though. Like, no complaints on the money front. That all went fairly well. Let's have another drink here real quick. And then our hunger looks like it's getting pretty high up. So I'm also going to try out the chips for the first time. And now we need to drink yet again. I'm going to actually just go over to Quavos because the next thing that we're going to need to do is just save and quit. Come back, save, quit. Come back, save, quit over and over and over again so that it'll be nighttime. That way, we can do a little bit of vandalism to wind things down. I really, really messed the van up, dude. Did this all happen just on the way here? Actually, you know what? I did sort of run Cuzzo off the road very briefly. Cuzzo? Is he still alive? Okay, he's still alive. He's driving away. That's good. That is good, ladies and gentlemen. That is all that matters. I do not want to spend five and a half hours in jail again. I don't want to. I don't want to spend any time in jail ever. A few moments later. All right, it's gotta be. It's gotta be dark enough now. I think this is the third or fourth time we've left and come back. Seems a little bit darker. Good song to come back to as well. I I really appreciate that, Quavo. I know you put this on just for me. I see you over there behind the counter, doing what you do. Anyways, uh, now we're going to hop in the van. The bus is still here. And then we're going to head to the inspection, or not the inspection facility, the waste treatment facility. Then we can go to the inspection facility and uh, do our little bit of vandalism. I'm just going to crank the ignition on this, dude. I don't have time to let the thing warm up. We got places to be. This is going to be the really, really challenging part about this because I can't see hardly anything. Dude, I can't even see my hand if I put it in front of my face. But there are some work lights and like a beacon and stuff. Actually, that helps tremendously. Now, if we turn it over, we'll just have to wait until the buzzing stops. And then we can go. Then we can leave. Also, there's probably other lights. I just, I need to find, okay, those main lights maybe? There we go. Let's kill the beacon. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to draw a lot of attention to ourselves here. All we really need to do is open the spill valve on the back, right? As long as that's open, that's pretty much it. It's just going to dump until it can't dump anymore. I'm going to keep the beacon off, though. Because, again, I'm just not trying to draw any attention to us. But I'm curious to see how much we're actually dumping. And how much do we need to dump? There's just, there's so many questions. So many questions and I, I don't think I'll ever get an answer for any of them. Let's go ahead and close that. Is that closed now or is that still open? It says open every time you hover over it. So we'll just hop back in. Hopefully that's a job well done. One minute, 37 seconds later. No, no, please, God, no, not like this, dude. And it's so dark. It's so dark, I can't even... Dude, I'm not ever going to be able to get out of the van. Wait, 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 hang on. I think I've done it, I think I've done it. Okay, good. Now, can we, can we roll the van over on our own? Probably not. Yeah, it's, it's not looking, it's not looking so good for us. Hang on, hang on, we're almost there, actually. We've got it. It just doesn't help that I can't see anything. It's far too dark right now. All right, just up against the tree and maybe just, just roll on over. You can do it. Do we need to rock it a little bit? I've decided it's probably best and fastest if we just 
restart once again from our save and dump the poop water again a second time and just like that once again the deed is done this time when we leave when we go to leave the waste treatment facility i'm not going to take that first corner at five miles an hour instead i'll take it at four in the hopes that we don't roll over again so we're not actually going to make any money from vandalizing the inspection facility but the next time we go to fleetari's assuming we were able to dump the proper amount of fecal matter uh, the next time we go to Fleetari's, he'll actually offer us a discount. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just save outside of Quavo's. I don't really feel like driving all the way back to the house today. So I think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.